I think we just crossed over into Arizona. We probably have like nine or eight and a half hours to go. We literally started driving when the sun was not up yet. And I don't know, I'm tired, but yeah, all day, longest drive of my life is, uh, that's what today is, today is driving. I think we're gonna do like a Q and A. I'm having Anthony go through all, like all the YouTube questions recently. And uh, so it's not just a boring drive of me peeing in the desert. I'll answer some of you guys' questions and then. Uh... All right, so I'm in Seligman, Arizona right now. Anthony's in the car right there waiting for me while I talk to you guys. Um, we just stopped through here just cause it's like old Route 66. Everything was all cool and cute and neat and wanted to see it real quick. And I want to answer a question along uh, along our trip today. So each uh, each pit stop, I'll answer a different question along the way for today's Q and A video. Um, Spooky Pup asks, "What inspired you to go vegan?" Um, I like animals, and I had a lot of vegan friends, and it was just kind of accessible at the time. I always thought vegetarianism was cool. I never understood the reason why people went vegan. I didn't really know what vegan meant. I didn't really know what you could eat when you went vegan. I didn't think it was something I'd ever be able to do. Um, around the time I was like 18 years old, I started hanging out with a lot of people who happened to be vegan. And I was attending things like Food Not Bombs and Burrito Project. And I started to eat vegan and, and it just kind of like happened to the point to where I felt like I could give it a shot. And I felt like I was, uh, it was just something that was doable. And I gave it a shot and now I'm 27 and I'm still vegan and that's kind of how I went vegan and and yeah I, I think it's like one of the coolest things I've ever done I think eating animals is wrong and I think uh, it's a good decision for your health good decision for the planet and if you could move more in a plant-based direction it's not such a bad decision and if you like harming animals hey man that's your thing that's cool it's not mine all right next question will be answered in Flagstaff Me and Anthony are about to eat some wild ass right now in Flagstaff. So you got a YouTube comment from Briar McPherson. Okay. He wants to know, do you paint the same way you tattoo? similar to the way I tattoo in regard that I want my paintings to look like tattoos and I want my tattoos to look like the flash that I paint and I think from painting a lot of flash it has actually kind of influenced the way I tattoo whereas I started that I would try to paint the way I tattooed now I feel like I tattoo the way I paint so the answer is yes Hey, so right now I am Navajo Nation area between Arizona and New Mexico. And uh, I just stopped and climbed up this hill really quick because I thought this looked really cool. So Amy Mejia wanted to know, what would you be doing if you weren't a tattoo artist? I think that was the phrasing of the question. Um, I don't know, I didn't really have any plans to be anything before I was a tattoo artist. I really wanted to be a body piercer. I did that. I fell into tattooing. I'm now doing that. Before either of those came to fruition, my plan was just to travel and be homeless. And I guess in many ways I'm doing that too. Second question Amy asked was, do I ever use Senaderm for healing? Um, yes and no. It's not my preferred aftercare. It does work as all aftercares work. And I have used it from tattoo from time to time and some clients love it. My personal opinion on it is I tend to think it's kind of a gross aftercare. I think it's kind of nasty just sticking a, a piece of plastic on you for like a week. Um, I know it works, but the idea is still just kind of gross. So, yeah. <laughs> Is it 
Mark Zuckerberg is like happy that people are like not looking at Facebook. Like he just put out this like press release and he's like, I'm happy that like less people are looking at Facebook. Like, yeah, he just wants us to talk about Facebook and it works. That dude's a fucking weirdo. Yeah. I think he's like the fucking Terminator. You think the silver guy? You think the silver guy running? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. that's, that's yeah. Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah. 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 He looks like him too. <laughs> like no emotion in the face. Attack on Tony? Is that a five round? I was just listened to an eight. Okay. About to call you Little Line Lassie. <laughs> <laughs> Change it up real quick, you know? Yes. Yeah. 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 Alright, dude, give me a hug. Fuck yeah, Wayne. Thanks, man. Yeah, thank you so much. Ooh. I'll see you soon. I'll be Thanks, back, Anthony. dude. Fuck yeah, yeah. dude. Yes, dude. You guys have been out longer next yeah. time, dude. We'll, like, Ooh, take care of your tats. Yeah, you know, Tony. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for letting me tattoo you. I hope you guys have a safe trip. Thank you. Take care, guys. Yes, kill it. Kill it, Wayne. Bye. We got a cheap hotel. We're tired. Let's uh the shop was great. Everyone was awesome. We made a couple tattoos and we hung out late and talked tattoos for too long for two dudes who haven't slept and have driven a very long way. Let's finish up this video. Uh give me the last question for the QA, Anthony. Alright, the elastic waistband wants to know. How come you travel so much? Uh, I hear threats me. All right. So, I travel a lot because of a few different things. It's a hard question to answer. Um, I don't know how to not travel. I, I feel like um, when I'm, sorry for my voice, I'm kind of a little bit under the weather. Um, when I'm not on the road, I miss the road. When I'm on the road, I miss home. When I'm home, I miss the road. Overall, I like home more, but I always miss the road. I like the discomfort, I like the late nights. I like the adventure, I like the getting lost. I like the bad times, I like the good times, I like the experience. I like making friends, I like making memories. And, uh, and I like making money and I like making cool tattoos and the industry is very saturated, and I've found that over time. I've gotten more and more clientele farther and farther and farther. And, uh, you know, also I feel that when I travel, I get to make cooler tattoos more often. You know, I feel like my, my clientele back home has seen all my stuff. When I travel, all my stuff's brand new to whoever met me there. So I get to tattoo a lot of designs that kind of sit around that are brand new to some fresh eyes. So it's nice. So, Yeah. I love traveling, and I hate traveling. Um, they want to know, they, the rest of the uh, question says, you got to get Stu David back in one of the vlogs. It's true. We miss Mr. Sleeve Jobs. I will end this video, and I will share with you something very special that we hold very dear in our hearts. And it's Mr. Sleeve Spider-Man. <laughs>